Hello everyone, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. Over there is John Lewandowski. How you doing, John? Hey, pretty good. I'm doing great. All righty. Um, I know that today's show may seem rushed, so let's get into it. Before we do, thank you to Hockey Locker, our sponsor, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. I know last video I did it in a hurry. Now I'm doing it slow. <laughs> at least I, at least I didn't forget this time. <laughs> All righty. So the Admirals took on the Wolves. I'm going to turn this over to John so we can get through this because this is going to be quick. All right. So the, as you said, the Admirals took on the Wolves today. Shots in the first period. Chicago outshot Milwaukee 14-7. In the second period, Milwaukee outshot Chicago 10 to 4. In the third period, Chicago outshot Milwaukee 12 to 6. In overtime, Milwaukee outshot Chicago 2 to 1. And in total, Chicago outshot Milwaukee 31 to 26. On the power play, Milwaukee went 0 for 3 with 6 minutes 3 infractions, and Chicago went 0 for 3 with 6 minutes 3 infractions. Scoring in this game was a premium. Right. Uh, scoring in the first, nothing. Scoring in the second, nothing. Scoring in the third was Jamison Reese with his 10th with an assist from Ryan Suzuki and Josh Melnick. Suzuki 7th, Melnick 15th assist. As it sits, this game is still considered. It is final. It is official. Marcus Nermi, his 13th with an assist from Statsby, his 7th, and Leonard, his 19th. Overtime, nothing. So we go to a shootout. Let's just do this again. All right. We're going to go with right. Sherwood, Keeper Sherwood, Luke Evangelista, Jordan Gross, Tim Schaller, Keaton Thompson, Zach Sanford, Adam Wilsby, John Leonard, N Igor Afanasia, Marcus Derby, Roland McEwen, all miss. Alexander Passion, uh, Jameson Reeves, Jack Drury, Logan Labden. Uh, Ryan Suzuki, Max, Lejo Max Lejoy, Vasily Panamarev, Malte uh, Stromwall, Antony Honka, Josh Beldick, William Lagason, and Mackenzie McEachern miss. Big Mac puts it in the back of the net. Admirals win in a shootout yet again. It took 12 rounds this time, so something right. about playing extra innings in baseball would be a good <laughs> reference right now. Right. <laughs> um, your three stars of the game, third star of the game is Pitar Kochekov. He stopped twenty-five of twenty, uh, twenty-four of twenty-five, scoring a goal with with Marcus Nermi, his second star of the game, and first star of the game was Yaroslav Askarov with thirty saves on thirty-one shots. He in the last week has stopped. Was it one? 14 out of 117 or 18 or 113 yeah. out of 17 or 18. It's somewhere in that. It's some insane 100 saves on it's like he's allowed like five goals on 100 something shots in three games. Right. He's just been playing out of his mind. Um, to speak about this game, uh, the, the only thing I, I, I really got to say, really close game, tight-knit game. Uh, both goalies played out of their mind, but what happened at the end, I, I can't go unnoticed. It, it, it just can't. Uh, Kochekov's known for his antics and, and, and anger and, bat and, and, and temper, um, where Yarrow's known for being the more fun. Like, I get it. They're both from Russia, but they, they, everybody has their own personality. Yarrow's the more fun, respectable, professional player. And, you know, uh, had it been the other way around, I'd be yelling at Yarrow. So um, it, it, it's just one of those things. Um, I get why he did it, because Yarrow's known for doing celebrations with the net and wanted to kind of take that away from him. But you got to remember one thing. Uh, there's still referees on that ice. And to my recollection... I'm pretty sure the next time the Admirals see you, they're not going to take that very kindly. Speaking of which, uh, so I am uh, filing a petition for the Joseph LeBate Hate Club uh, that uh, he ran um, Yarrow during the game. 
Uh, I didn't like that. Um, you know, touch our goalie as a as a as a former player, John. You know this as well. You don't run the goalie. And right. the fans know this. It's simple. Um, but I mean, that's all I gotta say is Kochekov's unsportsmanlike behavior. Um, he was issued no penalties uh, post game. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see the league make a decision on this. Uh, referees were Andrew Bell and Mike Sullivan. Linesmen were Dan uh, Kovacic and uh, Russell Jordan. Um, all right, so on to the next part of our show. The next part of our show is, is our in the system. Yes, I normally don't mix these two together, but I got to get through this pretty quickly. All right, so Nolan Burke plays for the sunniest thing in the Ontario Hockey League. He has uh, 40 games played with 53 points. 31 goals, 22 assists. Uh, Kasper Kulanomi has eight games in Liga and 33 games in the U20 League for Tapara U20, where he has 39 points. Zachary LaRue is currently suspended for 10 games for spearing a 16-year-old fan, but in his 24 games of games played, 18 points, 19 assists, 37 points, plus 27. He's averaging a point, 1.54 points per game. Well, Nolan Burke is also averaging 1.3 points per game. Um, Jack Matier is placed for the Ottawa 67s of the Ontario Hockey League. He has 41 games played and 37 points, 10 goals, 27 assists. Uh, no, uh, Gunnar Wolf Fontaine for Northeastern University. He plays in the NCAA. He has 29 games played, nine goals, 17 assists, 26 points. Simeon Chishikov, he has 24 points in the KHL with five goals, 19 assists. And two points in the VHL with a goal. Uh, Graham Sward, who's played uh, most of his season for the Winnipeg Ice, has 33 games played, two goals, 17 assists, 19 points, and he has a plus 18. Ryan Ufko for UMass in the NCAA, he has 25 games played, seven goals, 13 assists, 20 points, minus four. Simon Nack for Hockey Hockey Davos in uh, the National League. He has uh, 42 games played, 7 goals, 13 assists, 20 points. Fedor Svechkov, he has uh, 27 games played in the KHL now. He has 2 goals, 4 assists with a minus 7. He's played in the VHL for 14 games. He has 1 goal, 6 assists for 7 points. And 5 games in the MHL, which is the juniors. He has four goals, four assists, eight points, plus six. And with the VHL, he has a plus four. Alexander Campbell of Clarkson University, 26 games played, 11 goals, seven assists, 16 points, minus one. Isaiah Qualson, University of Vermont, NCAA, 29 games played, seven goals, 10 assists, 17 points. Cole Hara, UMass, NCAA, 25 games played, four goals, 13 assists, 17 points. Uh, Adam Ingram for St. Cloud University in the NCAA. He could be playing in juniors, but he chose to go to college. He has 28 games played, four goals, 10 assists, plus two. Also, uh, O'Hara has a plus one. Uh, Walter has a zero. And McK and uh, Campbell has a minus one. Yoko Cavell plays for JYP of the Liga. He has 36 games played, 11 goals, two assists, 13 points, and a minus 16. Luke Prokop. Started the season with the Norfolk Admirals and the ECHL has decided to go back to juniors. He's played twenty. He's played twenty six games with the Seattle Thunderbird. Two games or two goals, nine assists, 10, 11 points with a plus ten. Ben Shrine in the University of North Dakota, twenty games, three goals, six assists, nine points, and a plus five. Uh, Vlaslav Yeremenko for Metalberg Mestigora Mestigork. Uh, he plays in the KHL, 38 games played, three goals, four assists, seven points, plus 12. Anton Olesen, who I would not be surprised to see in Milwaukee next year, he plays for Skolofti AIK in Sweden, 35 games played, three goals, three assists, six points, plus eight. Chase McClain plays for Penn State, 15 games played, one goal, three assists, four points, plus two. Luke Reed, New University of New Hampshire, 30 games played, three assists, minus 15. In that, uh, in, in in the pipeline for goaltenders for the for the uh, Predators prospects, uh, Konstantin Volkov for Dynamo Moscow of the KHL, twenty eight games played, a one point six six goals against average with a point nine three four save percentage. 
Um, and then Ethan Hader for the Clarkson University, he's played 28 games with a 2.64 goals against average with a 0.904 save percentage. Um, Tomas Mamachka has played 18 games for the Norfolk Admirals this year. He has a 4.30 goals against average and a 0.873 goal uh, save percentage, but that is not indicative of how he has played as he has faced the third most shots in the entire league. The other two goalies in that count in that for that team have also are uh, in the top 10. So I think it's more of a team problem than it is a him problem. Yeah. You can't play well with that. All righty. So that was our in the system. Check back next month, uh, uh, day before the trade deadline. I think we're going to do it the first. So that way we can kind of get a, a grasp of what we have. We're going to probably run through this while we do our trade video. Um, so this part of the show will not be back the rest of this month as it is already the 15th. Um, we're going to give it another pretty much two weeks to the day to get that done. Um, note that there's an Admirals game that day as well. Um, I will be attending that. So um, please bear with me um, on that day for time frame, much like today. School day games are very hard as I have three kids who one is in school and the other two um, are napping at the current. Uh, well, my two-year-old just woke up. I heard him. <laughs> so uh, thank you all for watching uh, from Milwaukee to Nashville. Bye, fans, for fans. We are all love this game and we're all one community. Also, please just remember that as fans, we have two jobs. Cheer our team and show respect to the visiting teams. Um, also knowing, I understand that there's rivalries and you can hate specific players, but just don't disrespect the fans, leave the fans out of it. Um, I've seen a lot of that this year in, uh, Arizona, Chicago, um, uh, the, with the wolves, I've heard of it. I've heard stories from Rockford fans, Grand Rapids fans, Admiral's fans, and Iowa fans, as far as the wolves go, but that's been kind of their stigma over the last 20 years or so anyways. So, um, just remember that we have to carry ourselves with a little bit of level of class, care, and honesty. Um, uh, remember, when you're talking, if someone's above you in the standings, remember to show that respect. If they're below you in the standings, also show them respect because they're still competitors. And at the end of the day, they're getting paid to play a game they love, and which we love. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. So thank you for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, uh, February 15th, 2023.